Hello and welcome to the patch 2.22 leak in my second series in the best of 3 against Mateusz 316, this time on the map Firin Deal. And I will get to play, of course, the Isengard faction. Alright. We have to White Wizard Saruman. It has to be good for something. Firin Deal, not a bad map for Isengard at all. So let's see if it's a good faction or evil faction. I, I don't care actually. I will open with Double Furnace anyway, you know. Because I like this opening. This opening gives me much more early game resources. So even if I should lose my settlements outside, I will be still in a good spot. So no, I like this opening a lot. Alright, so what makes Isengard so strong in this map is the distance. And Uruks are faster than any other swordmen. So basically we can catch up to anybody and we can also reach the opposite side of the map very fast. What can orcs do against Uruk's boys? We got them Urukai. Warchant. Let's capture this other one. I see the golem. You know, it's annoying. What you gonna do? I don't wanna waste time killing him, actually. You know, let him do whatever he wants. We don't wanna demolish the lumber mill because we will still need the wood bonus to make the structures cheaper. And now we're gonna save up for 315 to build one more furnace. I liked three furnaces before the Uruk pit. So I have enough money to keep making Uruks, okay? So now we're gonna save up for the Uruks. Uruk pit, I mean. Remember, we need to recruit five Urukai to get the Uruk pit to level 2, which will give us a chance to recruit the Berserkers, which is quite decent against spam. Come on, give me the money. All right, finally. Dude, I'm so broke. <laughs> I'm living in the limit, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I can destroy this, actually. You know, I, waste, I wasted too much time. I'm still rusty, by the way. Need to get back in shape, you know? But I'm free, guys. I'm free all weekend. So it's gonna be great. We'll have lots of fun. Playing lots of games. And I'm currently, I think, the rank 6 or something. I played only one series. I was able to win this 2-1. Versus Zemix, who was also playing very well. And we are also working on the upcoming update for the patch 2.2. It's gonna be the version 3.3. So will address a lot of the you know weakness of the of the current stand uh, standing of the patch because some factions are kind of bad it's kind of hard though to make like a adjustment because the performance of a faction against any faction can also is map depending so the bigger the map is for example the better it is for rohan or for mordor you know because when you play on a map like westfold it's going to be much better for rohan as he's able to recruit additional peasants and then you know they can snowball the elite and also same for Mordor. You can get like five Lambert Mills under your control, get like crazy money boost and recruit a very fast Nazgul, for example. On small maps, on the other hand, Mordor is weak. But buffing Mordor in small maps will make Mordor legit impossible to be defeated in bigger maps, you know? I'm waiting for the War Chant here. I want to creep with one and use the other two to destroy the Lambert Mills. That's what you want to do. You want to keep destroying the Lambert Mills from your opponent. And when you want to use Warchan, you don't want to use it on one Uruk. You want to kind of group as many as you potentially can, split them up a little bit, you know, like we did. So you can get stuff done, multiple things uh, getting done simultaneously. Besides speaking, because speaking English is hard. Okay, though. I mean, we will create this, no problem. Uh, we need to get to two power points ASAP, boys, okay? That's the plan. With two power points, we should be getting to unlock the industry. Against Mordor, we can also go for the Tainted Land. Uh oh Gollum. Uh, you better run away, Smeagol. That's the revenge. That's the revenge right now. Um, Not go for the Warp Pit, actually. I want to go for the Armory. Warp Pit is also not too bad, but I... I I kind of don't have a feeling right now about how much money my opponent has. If he's close to a troll cage, if he is close to a troll cage, the warp pit is going to be kind of like a big mistake because it's going to delay our upgrades quite a bit. And usually, I also like to blade rush. So blades, armor, and three, four uruks go for the base. But I think, as I don't have the feeling about how much money he has, again, the blade rush is hard countered by a troll. One troll is enough to mess us up, so... When you are not sure about how much money your opponent has, 
and you don't want to use Palantir because it's a waste of power points, you know, then uh, it's better to go for the Fire Arrows and go for the mid to late game. So I don't like to go for Lourdes in this matchup, even though, you know me, I love Lourdes, right? But I think Lourdes is going to slow you down a bit and it's not... It's better to skip Lourdes. Unlike Saruman though, Saruman is going to be great later on. In which universe will I let you creep this, my friend? <laughs> the Berserker and the splash damage. Let's creep this. You know, when you combine two Uruks with a Berserker, creeping Goblin Lair and Vork Lair is quite decent. You need to just micro a little bit to not lose your Berserker right off the bat. Like here, for example, we can Bale. Remember, in the patch 2.2, they can actually heal out, heal out of combat. So if you can save them, they can recover slowly. The healing is kind of very slow. But making it too fast is going to make them OP. So they will never die against orcs now. So here the situation is we're going to use the Uruks as a beat and take down the lair first. Let's send them two by two, not one by one. And we almost got industry from our spell book. That'd be quite helpful. I'm cash floating a lot, by the way. Kind of playing meh in this game. What is this? Okay. Okay, so we have heavy armor, everything is incoming. At this point of the game, we're just gonna go ham, okay? We're gonna just go for uh, combos and a couple of crossbow men and try to finish this game with ESVP. I don't like to play against Mordor a long game in which he might recruit additional catapults, go for a Nazgul, for a second Nazgul, for the Witch King. So in the super, super lead game, uh, it's it's still doable because Isengard is the best counter against Mordor as Mordor is a faction that is based on leadership and Isengard can counter this but it's getting annoying so keeping map control if the Mordor player is good against two Nazgûs is legit impossible you know but again it's a bad map for Mordor too the small map very small map so it's kind of bad for Mordor go back let's capture this beautiful look Berserker hitting like a track boy you see Boom, chakalaka. Do it. Yeah, boy. You are not getting anywhere. Berserk is able to outrun orcs too. So running away from him is definitely not an option. Don't need bleeds. Make a tower here. To protect the outpost. No problemo. Let's go ham. Okay, we have now two combos. And we are, you know, wasting time is not a, not a good thing. So just picking Palantir from the spell book, because I haven't seen anything from him yet. So there is a potential he's going to rush a Nazgul. And the Screech is going to mess us up. So we need to go for like a Palantir, because besides giving you vision and movement speed, it also grants you for a short duration the resistance to fear. So very important against Mordor. Or against Gondor when he has the Horn of Gondor from Boromir, for example. Oh, he has Trolls. Okay, never mind. I mean, if that's the only troll he has, it's over. <laughs> like, it's legit over, you know? Even if he has like four trolls but no drama troll, it's still over. Trolls without drama troll can't fight against fire arrows. I mean, he's slapping my berserker out of screen, but it's fine. Go for his structures. He's demolishing them. Smart. Do not feed me power points. Also very smart. But I'm gonna destroy your orc pit. So no more orcs. The age of orcs is over. The time of the Uruks has come. So, like legit kind of forcing him to commit to me. But in a dream world, for him, he shouldn't fight me yet. Until my war chain is off. But he's panicking, I think. When he fights me with my war chain on, he will lose. So we need to bring more crossbow man to it's a big mistake from him it's two so i can kite this wait one second kite 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 shoot 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 turn and shoot turn and shoot it's okay we have two uruks in the front they can absorb lots of damage so the first one is dead the second one is gonna die too easy peasy lemon squeezy in the meantime use your berserkers to keep harassing his map control all the time you know gonna bring more in for oh gg okay gg well played my friend Okay, in the next game though, I will have to play Mordor. I will have to play Mordor and he will have to play Isengard. On the same map, we're gonna swap to the spots too. So let's see how it goes. How many... 
how much money did I collect actually? I want to see this. Show me the money already. <laughs> oh, not even close, baby. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next game. Now is the hour of truth. I was able to win this as Isengard, but can I win this also as Mordor? We have seen Mordor is struggling quite a bit. So it's going to be definitely a challenge, but maybe we can get it done. You know me, I like challenges. I, I believe, I mean, everybody was saying that, and I think also it's true that Mordor is kind of feeling weak against Isengard right now. And also that's going to be a big change in the upcoming version. So Mordor is going to get some more buffs and Isengard will get some nerves. But maybe I can still do it. So what I like to do is I don't like to defend myself. I mean, like for me personally, offense is the best defense in almost every single situation of the game. So I'm going to send Gollum to this one settlement and this orc... He will send straight to his mill, okay? That's our plan. So that's what we're gonna do. And with this orc, we can try to defend. Because defending is useless against Isengard. He will war chant himself, he will ignore your orcs and go for your lumber mill. So even if you try to defend, he will still take it down. There is no need, you know? So hopefully Golem can make it there in time. And maybe we can stop his lumber mill worker to capture us. Do it, Gollum. Come on, Smeagol. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna demolish this actually to get some money back. That's very important. We need to get ASAP. Oh, we need to get a slaughterhouse in the base ASAP. Can I, can I do it? Can I do it? Please attack it! Ah! Dude, Gollum, you stupid Smeagol. Dude, they would be literally a GG move right now. He would lose three. 200 resources. 200 resources at the beginning of the game. You know how crazy this is? You know how crazy this is? I mean, okay. He's gonna fight this. That's good for me. He could just ignore my orcs and go for my second. I'm gonna place my golem here. You know, maybe he will get the chance to show his quality later on. Maybe he will be able to destroy a furnace or something. And I wanna get uh, the level 2 orc. They won't, they won't hit level 2 quite, you know. But it's gonna be almost there. So, he's, it's fine for me, you know, he's fighting this against my orcs, and I have still an untouched... Can I please, 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 Yes! Yes! Okay, that's good though. I mean, that's what I wanted to do. Imagine if I had the chance to do this with Gollum too. Imagine if Gollum would just attack when I ordered him to, you know? So, I'm gonna just buy this slaughterhouse over here, right? And I, I know I can't protect it, but I will delay him to get this for himself. We have two slaughterhouses inside the base, so we should be kind of good. And I also want to build the second orc pit, but not yet, not yet. You want to always make sure that your eco is kind of somewhat great before you go for the production building, okay? Even though orcs are for free, uh, you need some money to fill up your base. And when you go too many orc pits without having enough map control, you will be poor, very poor. And I don't like to be poor, I like to be rich. I mean, he won't be able to destroy my lumber mill. There is no way that's gonna happen. This one is gonna go down, for sure. Oh, not my Smeagol. Smeagol, run, run! Hey man, I can't attack the Uruk. Please! Okay, we have a level 2 unit. So what we're gonna do with the level 2 unit is we wanna try to creep. But he can't do it alone, so we need, like, two more orcs. So we can get two more orcs. With three orcs in total, we can only creep the goblin layer, but also even the walk layer right after. In the meantime, keep pressuring. Orcs are for free, Uruks not. Even though Uruks can win against us, as long as we deal damage to them, it's a win-win situation. Because remember, we also gain power points from losing units. Need one more Orc to make it sure. And I also want to rush the Troll Cage ASAP. So at least I want to have one Troll to fill myself safe. And what I like to do with Mordor is I like to uh, see it go for combos you know when you play well with mordor you should have two three combos with drummer troll before your opponent can have saruman unless he's rushing saruman and skipping combos and you should also get darkness a bit sooner than he will get rain so there are like windows in the gameplay you want to kind of commit to right let's be annoying here his base is looking not good, actually, no? His base is not looking good by all means. We will have Trollkish very soon. 
Let's creep this. I is almost available. I've almost land two. I wanna use land defensively. Remember, land is also modifying his leadership bonuses. Let's use it right on the spot. Boom. Beautiful. Okay, we creep this. Amazing. And now we wanna creep the troll layer. And not troll layer, walk layer. And maybe. We need one more, maybe. I don't know. And maybe we can even get the outpost, you know? And make a orc pit there from the outpost and keep harassing all the time. And let's define this first. The three Uruks. Like, he, he's making a mistake, for example. Like, sending these two, three Uruks or fighting until the end is a big mistake in my book. You don't have to do this, right? You can save your units, get them back to your base. They cost 200 each. So you can buy later on them banner carrier and they can respawn over time. And you don't have to keep making more Uruks. I mean, losing orcs is whatever, but even there, you know, I don't like to lose my high-leveled orcs. I don't like to do this. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to use one of them as a beat. In the other two high-leveled ones, we're going to use to creep this. Let's get this one back. Keep harassing, keep being annoying. Force him to play defensively. Force him to defend himself, rather than attacking me. I see you. You see me, I see you too. Okay, we have found troll. That's good. That's good enough. So I want to buy the outpost here. Actually, let me get the money first. Let me buy the outpost right after. Get the money, get the money, get the money. Okay, let's buy the outpost. Beautiful. Okay, so now... Oh, he actually didn't even kill my golem. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can use the Eye of Sauron to this location and try to creep this one as well. I mean, he didn't creep anything. It's bad from him. You want to creep? You can use, like, one Uruk and two Berserker to creep, like, whole area. You can creep the Goblin here and Vork here. And that's so much money for you. And so many extra power points, you know? Okay, beautiful. So, we are in a good spot, I would say. And we have, like, two level three Uruks. Uh, Orcs, I mean. <laughs> the age of Uruks <laughs> is over. The time of the Orc has come. That's what's about to happen in this game, boys. I will show you the quality of orcs. Orc warriors from the Mordor town. From Mount Doom they are. They, this, these were elves once, op once upon a time. Elves got corrupted by the Dark Lord Sauron. And after many years of corruption and after many years of torture, they became, however, who knows, they turned into orcs. Imagine those beautiful, mighty, clean beings like elves getting to look like this. <laughs> this is like like Lord Voldemort. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, you know, Lord Voldemort was an orc warrior as well. But maybe the, the king of the orcs. Alright, so you know what time it is. It's time to get fire arrows. We need only two more trolls to get the troll cage to level 2. Again, we want to be fast. We want to attack him ESCP. Map control is looking good for us. He needs to get additional berserkers. And we can keep spamming cheap. With cheap, I mean, like, worthless. Worthless in terms of in terms of pricing, not in terms of quality. Orcs. And we have two of them level 3, right? So we can com when you combine highly leveled unit with another unit... The low level unit will take the level from the high level unit. <laughs> I, ho I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say. So, leveling, like combining a level 1 orc warrior, a level 1 orc archer with a level 3 orc warrior, will turn the combo battalion right off the bat into a level 3 combo battalion. So, your archers will get to level 3 for free. You don't need to only buy banner on them, but each level will make them significantly stronger. I mean, obviously, we have no Witch King, so our leadership will be matched by his War Chant. Remember, War Chant gives you damage armor. Grammar Troll also gives you damage armor. Eye of Sauron gives you only damage and combat experience. But the armor is missing in the Eye of Sauron, which kind of makes our combos not very tanky, unless you have Darkness or Witch King. Okay, so many Berserkers. We have Outpost. I mean, maybe he has also Outpost. I don't know. I'm not sure. You can fight this. No problemo. Let's destroy this one as well. Make sure it is like having zero money. 
Come on, drummer troll. We need one more. Okay. We won this fight too. He lost three berserkers. We are getting closer to the darkness power spike. He's annoying. <laughs> Being honest, he's annoying with the berserkers. But that's what he's supposed to do. You see, but that's what I'm trying to say, right? In the mid game, it's kind of very good for Mordor still, right? Because it's hard for Isengard to keep map control presence against Mordor, who can keep spamming all the time. And you need to spam Berserkers, but they cost 180 every single time you get them. And you, making 10 of them is basically like Lourdes. Even more than Lourdes. 1800 you need to invest. They are not scaling very well. They are not tanky. They cannot buy any upgrades, you know? Okay, we have three combos. I like to make always two drama trolls. Maybe I should be making one and I would be faster. But let's do two anyway. Now we have 2,000 in the bank. So maybe we can at this point start saving eventually for the Witch King. Keep making orcs, you know? Why not, you know? 20 there, 20 there, banner. I'm gonna buy banner on every single one of them. That's a massive power spike for the orcs. They don't only get to level 2, but they also unlock the passive black orcs. So they will deal even greater amount of damage. Remember, each level gives them additional DPS anyway. But orcs is the very unique unit in the game. They get also like a benefit from getting to level 2. And the benefit is to turn into the black orcs, which means additional 15% more damage. To the damage you get anyway. I'm gonna destroy the towers to get experience. Towers give the most experience and also power points. We're gonna keep fighting. When he comes with the combos, I can commit to this with my trolls. Right, alright, he's he's disengaging. Oh. Okay, we can we can fight this. Remember everything is shooting at us at the same time, so. Oh deck trolls, back, 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 back. I mean this host is actually driving me crazy. Alright, keep attacking the structures. I wanna destroy the Orphan too. So he got he can't build anything, right? That's my goal here. And he's demolishing the furnaces too, right? That's gonna mess up his eco even more. Look this berserker over there. Okay, we destroyed the Orphan. That's amazing. I wanna commit now. My drama trolls nearby a little bit. Beautiful. I'm going for the structures. I could kill his army, I think, but he will kite me. He will try to get away when I whenever I try to fight them. So it's better to destroy the structures instead. That's gonna hurt him more, you know. This push is not gonna finish the game, I believe. But we can still deal good amount of damage. That's for sure. Hit level 5. Come on, hit level 5. Amazing. Okay. Oh boy, he killed all my trolls. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Let's send more orcs. <laughs> Dude, buying on them banner is of course very expensive. We could go for the Witch King instead, but we go instead for this one. Oh, here's our outpost here. Okay. We can destroy the furnaces too. With almost darkness. One more power point only. And we should be good to go. And then we're gonna creep with this. You can see. With level 2 orcs, you can also creep the... Bot layer. Look. Look the, look the front line we have with the... Crash his eco. Crash his eco. Destroy his furnace. Oh my. Are you kidding me? I didn't even pay attention to this. Okay, darkness time. Build me an army. Oh, he has freezing rain. Uh huh. And here's a. Oh my. He has even a crossbow man in there. Okay, let's creep this with the two. But we are... Oh, I had a troll there all the time. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even pay attention. Oh, I want to save the level 5. Can I save the level 5? Use your belly! Okay. 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 Oh my goodness. He's smart, actually, with the outpost. I like it that he has this. This is actually the reason why he's in the game. Oh my. It, that's the reason why he has some, still money. Because he has, like, zero lumber mills outside, right? Look, my orcs, they are so strong. I can use I here, but I don't want to. Um, now we know, I mean, basically, rain and darkness have the same cooldown, right? So we use it at the same time. I used it like maybe two, three seconds before him. 
So before my re before my darkness is gonna be available, his reign won't be available either. So with that being said, reign is the biggest weakness of Mordor. So because we lose all the leadership bonuses, right? And without reign, he can't shut it down. So we will have two drama trolls, and then we're gonna see if now for Witch King. So it's gonna be good. No reign, no problem. I mean, obviously we can also skip the Witch King and go for the go for more trolls and catapults, but who needs catapults? I want to buy all of them, on all of them, so much banner, but it's so expensive too. Look, my level five is slowly recovering over time. That's what I like to see. I don't want to buy better. I, I have to save for 8,000, man. I mean, he he didn't pay attention, I believe. He was fighting on my on my team to land. Okay, we have enough money for the, for the ruler of the Angmar. Minas Morgul is his homeland. Guys, I like the evil forces. I like it. Maybe it's because I'm an evil person too. Maybe. I don't know. But I like the forces of evil. Come on, Witch King. Say what you want, what you have to say. Say it, Witch King. Do it. Come on. Join the battlefield already. Oh yeah, there comes the leader of the nine. The only person who was able, I mean not the only person, actually yes, from Mordor, the only one who was able to hurt, he was killing Witch, he was killing Theodin, right? He was injuring Frodo Baggins at the Wetter Top in the first film, in the Fellowship of the Ring. And he was giving Merry and also Elvin a big fight. I mean, and yeah, I think he was the most. I mean, the only problem with the with the Lord of the Rings was like there is there was not like a real villain. You understand? Like what I'm trying to say is like yeah, of course there was Sauron, but you couldn't ever see him. It was like his influence. Like he had like an army of orcs. They were outnumbering the good side, but there was not a hero villain. Besides who? Saruman. What did Saruman do actively? himself you know I, I wanted to see like a crazy wizard battle you know what i mean like saruman was kind of slapping gandalf a bit when he was gray but then when he was white i wanted to see like a revenge but the only thing they showed us okay i have now which leadership to my friends you can fight this if you want no problem he's using palantir to get the resistance to fear, but I'm not planning to use my screech on that one. Keep fighting, send orcs for the front line. In the meantime, use orcs to do something else. Oh, there is Lourdes. You wanna do this, Lourdes? You wanna cripple my dude, Lourdes? <laughs> Level one Lourdes against combos. Look, my front line. The age of Uruks is over. <laughs> Uh, this is so funny. Look, my front lining. It's crazy, actually. I like that so much, man. But keep in mind that during all this time, we are being shot all the time by the towers, you know? And again, we, we can't use darkness. Remember when you play against Isengard? Forget about your darkness. Because whenever you press it, he's going to press, press rain. The only way you can get darkness is if you use the rain and you don't use your darkness and you wait for like two minutes until the duration of rain is over, then you use darkness. I'm just gonna commit. I'm just gonna keep committing here, by the way. We have also like lots of army coming to the outpost top. So let's send Witch King to join them to support them with additional leadership. Remember, the rain is gonna be available in a second. But we bring more and more orcs to the, to, to the spot. Take them down. 
Oh, no, 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 he's smart. Dude, did you see what he did? He was demolishing the furnace so the units inside the outpost could shoot. Ugh. What a way to lose your <laughs> Witch King. My bad. My bad. You bring more orcs. Keep bringing more orcs. You know, just look at this. We just buy banners on them. I mean, of course, is it the best investment of the of the world? Of course not. It's not the best investment. Why? Because we could maybe make more trolls instead, or make more mumokias, or whatever. You know, get two more Nazgûls. But it looks cool. It looks cool. Am I right or not, guys? Are you orc enjoyers just like I am? Let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, okay, never mind. Are you also like me? Admit, dude. It's okay, you know, to be an orc enjoyer. Look at them. Slaughtering Isengard. <laughs> we have only orcs. <laughs> Legit, we have like orcs and two drummer trolls and one level 8 archer pleb who is trying to keep up with the speed of the orcs. Darkness. Oh, it's lagging now. I don't know what's happening. Oof. Don't do me like that. Is it, what is happening? Imagine me losing connection now, and this wind won't count. Can you imagine this? I would freak out. But I don't think it's me. Even though my internet connection today is kind of really bad, you know? My Wi-Fi connection, horrible. Mordor still struggle? I mean, bro, I could make like three siege works if I wanted to. I couldn't even type. I think Mordor is pretty strong. I mean, like, you need to play good, of course. Isengard is easier to play, I think, in the mid to late game. Once you have, like, combos, you make, like, war chant, you go, you know? Like, it's basic, like, basic understanding. You do this, you go forward. You make Lords level 5, you put them next to the army, and you go. Mordor, you need to be more macro -lastic. So, macro is your uh, friend, you know? Map control is your friend. So you need to get yourself the advantage by using the orcs which are for free. I'm gonna go for a call the heart. Do it, call the heart. Ah, uh, okay. GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a good sesh. 2-0 for me. I'm climbing in the ladder. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay beyond standards. And look our money, dude. Beware Bill Gates in that one.